Hello everybody and welcome back to St. Cuthbert Plays Divinity Original Sin 2. This is episode 4. So, last time we played, we... We died. We decided that... Oh, you can see the little dialogue here. Griff, the camp boss, wants us to give up whoever had his drudenay and his drugs that were stored in his... Stored in his oranges. Um, so we met Stinktail, who had the oranges, who was apparently like, uh... They call him a dreamer in lizard society, so we tried to stand up for him, and that turned out to be the bad idea because it turned the whole camp against us, and we got murdered. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, I think we're going to have to give up Stinktail. Um, yeah, Stink better face the entire crew and tell Griff to a Stinktail through the supplies. We know if you hold your ground, you won't give up Stinktail. Griff attacks us, as well as most of the people in this area. If you look on the minimap, almost all of them turn on us. Um, and we're just not, I mean, they're all level three, we're level two, we don't even have Lone Wolf on Loge yet, so we're just, it's, we're not in a good spot to take this fight. Um, unfortunately, I wish we could, um, cause I really would prefer not to give up Stingtail, but it is what it is. Anyway, um, so let's get to it, uh, think better face the entire crew and tell Griff Stingtail to supplies. Alright, so he is gonna let Amiro, is that his name? Amiro, Amiro, however you want to pronounce it, let him go so we can talk to him and try hopefully get off this island. My ship. Uh, we 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 did we did our part, there, buddy. Uh, ask Elf what he means. Say he's badly injured and needs assistance right away. He should get out of here. Tell the Elf you've done enough for him. Um. I'm going to ask what he means before I go off on him. Oh, this is the lady in the cave that we spoke to that Los had a big problem with. Um, ask him what he has in mind so you have your own troubles and can't take as well or insist to do whatever it takes to fulfill his request. Um, I don't know what his request is. I don't think we can end up taking her off the island. I think that's going to be... I don't, I guess we could find out. Uh, I'll ask him what he has in mind. Oh, all right. We can deal with that, I suppose. So we just got this amulet, which we can't wear amulets yet because we got this stupid source collar on still inhibiting our abilities. Um, but I guess we still have a head in here. I'm going to go ahead and just drop that. Does that not drop? There we go. Leave it over another pile. Um, but I guess she wants us to bring this amulet to elves off the island. I don't know exactly where these elves would be, but I assume somewhere. Um, anyway, so mark down map with exit so enters the underground so underground must be like a way out um i think to the west over here it's mostly just more city we haven't explored but we can go over there and explore too i might walk up the beach just to do some exploring i'm curious um and then we'll head over to the underground because this looks like ooh, i don't want to mark over um i think to the east over here the underground will eventually let us over there and this is just more castle i believe we can explore that too so let's go west for now and do some exploring and hopefully get level three and get a new feat so we can have Los and the right way, yes. Have Los get Lone Wolf as well. Um, I've also heard of um, a mod that allows you to put, uh, there's a mirror in the game, you'll, you'll find out later. After act one, there's a mirror in the game that allows you to um, swap your stats around. I think we talked about it before, but there's a mod you can get that puts in all aspects of the game. So I could give Los Lone Wolf really early. Um, which might help us out here. Uh, we'll speak to this woman here. Uh, I'm just going to tell her I just arrived. We have like a day. Thanks for the GC, yep. Uh, a fun with a mate. I don't mean no see I've been lucky enough to make a close tie. I'm going to say lucky enough to close tie. I like close. Uh, I'm just gonna take my leave. 
yeah i don't I don't think she's going to tell me anything important these just look like random npcs um all right i guess a lot of ships are crashing because we've seen a lot of wrecks oh that's beast we can probably get some of a story if we go talk to him but i'm not that curious we have any goods here Ooh, auto save uh that usually means combat oh one thing i was reading about um which i didn't do if you look at my health bar obviously it doesn't regenerate um unless you have a bedroll so if i want to find a bedroll at some point um so i can rest in between combat so i can get my health back so i should really do that i'm also going to take all these stupid consumables out of my hotbar i still i still need to download i, I really want to download that mod so i can get the hot bars fixed hey we got some over here saltwater crocodiles interesting um I don't know how big or scary these guys are going to be. Level 3, 74. They have some physical resistances, but I think we play this well. We can fight this. That one's bigger. Yeah, let's go for it. Why not, right? A little quick save here. Um, I know I can sneak, but I think... Oh, uh, well, I guess we're going to fight regardless. <clears throat> That's an oil barrel. I don't have any caches, though, so probably not going to be worth it. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be in range for a ricochet. Yeah. Uh, I am going to go ahead and throw out buffs, though. And I remember she has special arrows in her inventory, like the water one and the knockdown arrows, that we're probably going to want to use this fight if we want to get through this. He's not in range. That's really sad. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to hold, because you can save up action points. So if I, I'm just looking at what he does. If I decide I don't want to use these two action points, they'll save up for the next round of combat. Um, I could throw down fire if I get them into these barrels, but I think I'm probably just going to rush this guy. Because that'll do 68. That's not going to knock him down. Watch. All right. Why do I? Oh, this, I took the shield off, didn't I? That's okay. I think that'll get the damage off. No, it didn't. That's bad. Um, there goes my knockdown. Probably just gonna do damage. Yeah, that's fine. I'm doing a good chunk of damage with the two-hander. The fuck? All right, so these guys can teleport apparently. That's actually insane. And I guess they do a magic damage to me. I would expect them to do mostly physical. I guess that's geomancy technically. Oh, I yeah, see. He did physical with a bite. I'd love to be able to get knockdowns. I'm gonna cast this on here. Now my arrowheads do elemental damage. Let's get the bounce. <clears throat> um, she does have. I know she has a knockdown arrow. Do I want to use it though? Because I have a knockdown on my tank. I probably just want to do straight damage. Water, fire, arrow. You know what? Let's do it because I think they have oil on them. Because. Oh, I'm standing the oil though, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to shoot this guy, I guess. Actually, no, let's focus. Let's focus him. Target prioritization going. Uh, and she'll save up that one point. Taking a good chunk of damage. This guy's hurt. It's me next. I'm going to have to blow. A turn to drink a potion. 330. How much do I have? I have 87. There's no need to use that. That's two though. See, that's way too big, but that's not really enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this. I can I can combine potions to make more bigger ones. That's not a big deal. Alright, I'm gonna get the knockdown as soon as possible. Just so it's guaranteed. It's this guy. And I guess I'll hold that one action point, so if I need to drink another potion next turn, I have it. <clears throat> And because I used my knockdown like an idiot um, earlier and missed, I'm going to probably use knockdown arrows with Los here just to prevent some damage. Who's this one? This is the bigger guy. He has seven. How much does a knockdown arrow do? You know what? Just shoot him. And then hit him with a knockdown, so I guarantee the knockdown. I really need to put this in my hotbar so I don't have to keep doing this. And we'll use a knockdown arrow. 
that boy down. And enter. There we go. All right. Um, I guess focus, big boy. I took my shield off like an idiot, so I don't get to use that anymore. But I think I could probably finish one of these guys. He's up next. I guess I'll just go for him because I can get three solid attacks off. And then I can get a Dragon's Blaze in there too. So I think I can finish this guy. Oh, the miss. That's bad. That's not so bad. Can I get both these guys? Yeah, I can get them both. So he's burning at least. Uh, he's going to spread it to me though. That's not so good. I think Los can... Did you finish this guy? No. Yeah, he's up next. And I don't want him to finish me. Um, do I have more arrows that are useful? Healing potion. I can always resurrection scroll if need be at the end of this fight. I prefer not to have to. Let's see that for HP. At 32. Um, she can definitely finish him though. So. Finish him. Pump some shots into him. And I guess we'll clear mind my lizard here. That might help him out a bit. <clears throat> oh, is he going to attack Los? Oh, that's so good for us. I think we'll both live. Yeah, we're both going to live. Hopefully, the burning damage doesn't kill us all. I would really suck if we finish the combat and the burning finishes uh, off. I'd actually cry. One HP. Los' turn is up, though. Uh, so she's just going to shoot this boy. All right. All right, so let's actually just walk out of the fire here, please. Oh no. Please, please. Okay. All right, we have four resurrection scrolls. I'll use one. That's so sad. The burning got her after combat ended. Oh, I'm so sad. All right, but like I said, we have a ton of resurrection scrolls. We have TS3, I think Los has one. I'm correct. Yeah, I would love a bedroll so I can sleep rather than burn potions and stuff because I can use those in combat. So I'm going to try to find a bedroll after this, I think. I think go back to the town see if I can buy one or just look around. I'm sure there's one lying around somewhere. So stuff because it sells for money. There must be a mod that I can just like loot all guys on the ground too. That'd be nice. Please. Oh, gloves of teleportation. Grand skill teleportation. That must be how this guy was teleporting. This crocodile, because like, apparently crocodiles wear gloves. Um, how does tele teleportation work? Um, magic or physical? I think I'm going to throw this on him, because again, I want him to be tankier. Of course, I sold the shield after I did that, but I don't think the shield's hyper necessary right now. It's just a shame that I can't use my shield throw. Um, teleport. Damage based on your level and reduces bonus from intelligence. So I guess if... A per target character item to a point you're choosing. Yeah, I'm just gonna try this out. So if I, I teleport myself. No. But I can teleport like the crocodile. Or I could probably teleport my friends, but I'm gonna guess it does damage because it said it does. It's damage based on level and tree bonus from intelligence. So if an enemy I throw with the teleport, it must take fall damage or something like that. Um, I'm gonna keep it on him just for resistances. And also if I want to get Los out of the way, Hope it doesn't do too much damage. If I want to just get Los out of the way, I can just use it. Um, I'm probably not going to read through all this. But reading it, I, yeah, I learned Braces of Brachus Rex. Or the Vault of Brach. Oh, that might actually tell me where... <sighs> can consumables can't put in my hotbar. Literally everything is put in your hotbar. That's annoying. Not what I want. I want this. If the rumors are true, I'll be rich as an ancient. Can't expect less from a king's vault, even one on a prison island. So I guess there's a vault on a prison island about those gloves or bracers. Um, if there's anything like the server in jail is getting out, it'll be as easy as getting in. They'll take a sorcerer these days, and it's easy enough to fake. Landed, found a good mark right away. Says, oh, so this guy's on the island. Oh, that must be the dead guy, obviously. Landed, found a good mark right away. Says he's got a teleporter spell I can flitch easy enough. So that must be these gloves. Um, 
just had to say I'd escape with him for beyond led to a stranger to all that gold though. So close I can almost smell it. The vault ought to be just outside the prison, if I can believe Barbara. Er, Barbara. Here's my map, my golden ticket. I see it behind my lids when I close my eyes. Oh, so apparently there's like a, a vault somewhere on this island that we can get to. That'd be great. Um, blood arm sword. I don't want any of that. All right, let's get out of here. Let's try to find a couple bedrolls. Probably somewhere. I think up here. Empty crate. Oh, this is where we were before. Yeah, we just walk around. Um, oh, so that's most of the side of the island. Um, I'm gonna guess. Cause where'd we land? We landed like up here, right? I would be super surprised if there's not a bedroll like around there. So I'm probably just gonna teleport to the Fort Joy Beach, look around, then teleport back to the center. Just cause it would be lovely to have one of those. Uh, see one? There's a crate. No. If I just walk with Alt Held, it should show me any loot I can pick up. Other scraps, shell. Maybe over here. Now this is where we killed the Void Woken. Bed roll, please. Uh, this is Red Prince. I prefer not to have to buy one. I don't know if I can buy. Oh, Penny Bun Mushrooms. I know you can use these to make healing potions. I'm just going to pick all those up. I haven't really played with crafting. I probably should take the time off camera just to kind of learn my way around it. Try crafting some potions, scrolls, whatever. Um, just learn how to do it. Dusty pouch. All right, we're probably not going to find a better roll. I can find one again off camera. I'll just wander around for a while at some point and just look. But who was this? Oh, this is just the entrance. So actually, I can probably just buy one. I'm sure there's a vendor in here that has a bedroll. Surprised if there's not. Actually, I haven't really looked for any vendors. We should talk to Griff, who is a vendor, but I know there's more around here. She's actually a trader. I'm going to talk to her, Nabora. If you just look right under their health bar, it says trader. I can just click that. I see no bedrolls. I saw all this, though. I need that. Uh, I'm going to keep the mushrooms. I want poison. But uh, whatever, I've read that. Uh, repair hammer, I might need. I need to keep one of those, so I'll just keep it, whatever. All right, uh, can you do a few screws? Um, take my leave, she just, sounds like she's just talking about having stuff. <clears throat> so I wonder if, well, actually one place I might be able to find it would be down in that cave. That the guy who had the warfare vendor. Sorry, my puppy is whining for me. Like 10 weeks old, they're so cute. Uh, house, I'm gonna see if you have anything to buy. No bedroll. Do I wanna get my shield back and a better weapon? Do I have? I don't think I have the money for it actually. So that's a nice one-hander. This is almost as strong as my two-hander, but I can also put a shield, but it's also 700 gold. I'm probably just going to stick with two-hand for now until I really need it, because it as long as Los is, doesn't have Lone Wolf, she's not going to do as much damage. So, be a problem. All right, no, let's just head to the underground. I think this is a decent time to do it. And I think we can always come back here anyway, because we have the... Yeah, it's right down this way. We have the... um. What do you want to call it? The waypoints. But again, we're also super low. I'd really love a bedroll. Oh. Another secret. No, that must be the underground entrance. Oh, Migo. Is he a good guy or a bad guy? That's the real question. Mutilated corpses. He's probably a bad guy. We're really low on health. All right, do I just want to suck it up and drink some potions? So few, and they already start 30 vitality. What level is he? Still four. I'm probably going to wait to walk near this guy because he's got mutilated corpses all around him and some kind of 
weakened? Oh. Who's worth talking to? Yeah, again, I would love a bedroll. Ooh, chest. Open this first. Oh, the side. Mage's gloves. We'll give those to Los. Tab is... Wait, obviously, try all your weapons and try to attack the closest thing to you. <clears throat> it could be really shame to die two episodes in a row. It does look scary. So we'll come back. I'm going to try to find another, get another bedroll. Or like any kind of healing spell would be great. No, let's screw it. Actually, we can get, we can eat food. That's what we can do. We can buy food. We can go back now. I'm going to talk to this guy first. A quick save beforehand. So if we do die. Uh, but no, he looks super scary. If he is a bad guy. Yeah, this guy is definitely going to try to murder us. God, he's mad as all hell. Where's the Yarrow? Um, say you're sorry, but you can't help him. So lay back with the creature avoiding his bloodshot eyes. And handy weapon fiend is dangerous. Um, we're just going to back away from him because, again, we're not in the condition to fight. We're both really low. Uh, tell him B can't draw your weapon, think the prison is stable. Lois, tell him he's working himself into an absolute up over absolute nothing. Jester. Oh, I guess she has Jester and Mystic. He's always been such a sensible fellow. Say he seems to be quite a lot of pain after we help him discover the source of it. Um, yeah, why not? I was just gonna attack us. Yeah, this is bad. Oh, he's got so much armor, he's so big. I'd be a little bitch and run from this fight. Definitely combat. Because oh, then he's just gonna murder, murder my lizard here. Um. Let's. Well, we at least want to get her out of the way. Uh, and then she's gonna. Probably just gonna save these points. You know what? No, I'm just gonna. If I can get him to run away, if he doesn't absolutely just straight murder him, wits, then I'm just gonna probably run away because we're way too low to fight somebody this strong. We can come back after we eat some food or whatnot. Oh, that's not good. I went through all of my. Actually, I didn't have any. I had like four. Then I went right to physical. All right, so I think I can probably get away. I can't move because I'm crippled. That's not good. What we're gonna do? I'm just gonna teleport this boy. I guess as far as I can go. Yeah, goodbye. See if I can flee because I'm not close to him. Uh, go to the square. Oh yes, we did get away. And she's also gonna flee to the square. Good, we got out. We're so clean. All right, now I desperately want a bedroll or food. Oh my God, she died to poison again. Guys, this is actually a struggle. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna use another resurrection scroll, I guess, because I'm not, I'm not just gonna try to save scum this. If we die because we're being absolutely stupid, I'm just gonna let us die. Damn, we're clean. We're so <laughs> clean, guys. Um, yeah, we want food. I bet Griff has food. Food or and or drugs because he has a whole bunch of drugs at all times apparently. Yeah, he has food, just tomatoes, orange juice. It was ten percent vitality. That's it. That's not hardly any. It, so again, finding a bedroll is going to be top priority for me as soon as possible. Um, let's just get some orange juice, I guess. Beer is probably not going to do it for us. Air. Tomatoes, or watermelon, that works for me. Tomato soup, that's probably good. 
nor the T. Bounce it out and we'll accept it. And goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, let's eat this. Consume. Give me four HP. Really? Give me eight. Just give me no food or no health. Considering the amount of HP these give you compared to the price, like that's look at that. Not even full health after eating all of that. That's insane. And Los is also like super low. She has 45 HP. So I'm probably just gonna drink a potion, as bad as that sounds. And I'll throw her some from here. Can I split this? Uh, split item. Yes. And we'll throw one into her backpack. Okay. And we'll make more. Again, off screen, I'll do some crafting. I'll do some finding of bed rolls. So that way. I don't have weapons. I'm sorry. There we go. They're mad at us because I had a weapon out. Sharp stick log. All right, so let's go back towards the underground. We'll just go right to the underground. And just go from there, I guess. And we'll try to deal with Migo when we have a little bit more HP or levels. Because we're still only level 2. That guy was level 4. And clearly, outside of our abilities. I mean, we might have been able to fight him if we weren't both low and also weren't missing Lone Wolf on Lowe's. But because of the combination of the two... Not following us. Why should not following us? Come on. I guess they're chained them when they're close. I don't know why she came unchained. Oh, I saw a little kitty falling. Is she on me now? No, she's coming. She's coming. Fire. Fire. There we go. Now she's attached. All right, we'll just go right to the underground. Go. I'm gonna quick save. All right. Is that a bedroll? It is a bedroll. Got a lucky day. Because if I go ahead and I do that, yeah, it heals me. It heals both of us. That's so nice. So I don't have to buy ridiculous amounts. I'm just going to throw it in the corner over here. I don't have to buy ridiculous amounts of food. Uh, I'll leave that there for now. All in. Oh, that's from the 200 weapon. Cost three though. I don't know if it's worth it. 16 to 18 physical damage. I don't know how worth that is. We'll find out. Maybe we'll try it out. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and do everything here. Lock picks. Uh, I think you can lock pick even if you don't have the skill, but there's a, obviously a limit. You need the skill to do so much. Carpet. I don't want carpet. I think this is. Oh, this is where something like the pet pal feet would come in super handy because we could talk to this thing. Otherwise, it's probably going to attack us. Um, as we can understand me. Uh, Sir no mood to communicate with the flaming slime ball. Had to keep it out of the way. Or else it wants to go where it's going. Sure. Yeah, there's no idea what we're saying. Um, it hasn't attacked us, though, so that's a bonus. Uh, avoid these flames. Mad at us? Let me go ahead and buy it. Nothing. Yeah, if, if you hold shift, by the way, you can see aggro areas. Cat does. Did I click on the cat? I guess I click on the cat by accident. Um, so there's a whole bunch of slugs here. They're neutral though, so I Royal Fire Slug. I'm sure there's some kind of instance with this that I could probably either try to fight them, kill them, or if I had like Sorry, corpse, that's not a good sign. If I had that pet pelfie, I could talk to him, maybe negotiate my way through this because I don't. I don't know. Do we want to try to fight them? That could be bad, that could be good. Um, you know what, we'll leave that decision up the next time. The video's been running for about a half hour, so we're gonna 
I think we're gonna pause there. We're in the kind of this interesting place. Um, we'll decide whether or not we're gonna fight these fire slugs. I might teleport back to the home city and, like I said, do some crafting things like that. Then come back here for the next episode. Um, in the meantime, thank you guys for watching. Um, please feel free to hit a like or a comment on this video. Uh, if you want to see more, hit subscribe. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.